Welcome to the Monday Monologue. This week we're going to dive into a couple of different topics. One of them, something I've touched on before and I guess it's becoming a pet peeve of mine. It's the simulation crowd versus the folks that are actually building stuff. And when I go on a couple of the various forums, some of the more popular ones, I see a lot of people that they're just pumping out sim after sim of different things and they're saying, oh, this is going to be great because here's the sim distortion numbers and all that kind of stuff. And like I've explained to you all before, distortion numbers don't tell the whole story. And secondly, it's a simulation of what the distortion is going to be. And several times people have, like with my 6BM8 project, there was a little bit of ringing on the square wave. And somebody put the whole circuit into a sim and said, oh yeah, if you put this XYZ PF capacitor across whatever, it'll get rid of the, rid of the ringing. And so I put the capacitor in like he suggested and it just killed the amplifier. It sounded horrible. And he was right. Yeah, it got rid of the little bit of ringing and rounded off the front edge of the square wave. But it just also took all the life out of the amp. And so I'm just, I feel like that the simulation may be maybe a starting point. But to be publishing schematics that people have never built and recommending that people other people build them when they haven't even built it to see what it's going to sound like seems pretty silly. And then the other thing that I was really blown away about, there was some guy went to the trouble of putting together this really cool way of testing output transformers. And he gave the results of several different popular ones, a Hammond and this other one and uh, the Lindell. And when he published the results, some guy simmed what he had done and said, oh no, all those numbers that you published are wrong. And he's like, but like I tested the actual transformer. And this other guy's like, no, no, you know, the, 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 the simulation is, is proving you wrong. He's not proving anything. The, the actual one that somebody built with holding the transformer, they own the transformers, and they put them on this thing and tested them. That's what's real. What somebody's putting in some unknown variables and stuff and simulating that and trying to claim that that's the actual facts? That's crazy. Or maybe I'm off here, but that just seems insane to me. And I don't know if these people have been on too many Zoom meetings or played too many video games or something and they don't understand the difference between like reality and virtual and that it's not the same thing and that we actually live in a real world, not a virtual one, that kind of thing. I don't know. So anyway... That's my rant this week about the the simulation crowd. And hey, if you if you guys enjoy like being creative and simulations, and you never want to actually build any of the gear that you're simulating, and you think that's fun, have fun. That's great. But let's stop like pretending that those simulations are real because they're not. So the next thing I wanted to talk about today was I'm thinking about getting into doing some DIY speakers. And since we're DIYing this much, I thought, hey, why not DIY some speakers too? And I don't want to go too deep down that rabbit hole, but I ordered a couple of, and I think the company's name is GR Research. And the guy has kind of got on a little snake oil bench with these tube connectors and speaker cables and stuff that he's trying to sell that seem like fairy dust magic. I think he knows a lot about speakers and crossovers. And so 
I'm going to give these little mini bookshelves he bought a try. I've got them on order. And I want to try them against these just kind of bare bones, clips, icon speakers I have that I'm using in my downstairs system and see how they compare. And I think it'll kind of be fun to build them and then do a little A-B thing and do some videos on that. So anyway, uh, we may be seeing some DIY, DIY speaker stuff on this channel. So if you've done any DIY speaker stuff that you think is really cool, if you want to put them in the comments or maybe some kits you'd like to see built that aren't really expensive, we could, you know, put some of those together and see what they end up sounding like. So that might be another little fun kind of side thing to get on with the channel. So anyway, I think we'll keep this Monday monologue fairly short. If you like the channel, please subscribe. Please like the video. And I'll see you next week for the Monday monologue.